Apple's iBeacon service goes live at an Apple store near you. Asus is teasing us the launch of their Pad Phone Mini for next month, and Cyanogen Mod 11 M1 reaches most Google Nexus smartphones and tablets. I'm Jaime Rivera, and let's do something. How about if you do the Friday joke this time in the comments down below? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as ASUS is already teasing us their Padphone Mini to be launched next month. But uh, wait right there, because um, first of all, this is not really an appealing device. We're talking about a device with a QHD display in this decade, not year, decade. And it just makes the device completely unappealing. And it makes me wonder, I mean, ASUS has struggled to sell this Pad phone in the three times they've launched it. So I wonder what they're planning with this mini phone, because it's not going to make it sell anymore. Now let's talk about Cyanogen Mod Inc. Yeah, the company. They have just launched Cyanogen Mod 11 M1, meaning Milestone 1, and it currently works with almost every Nexus device, including tablets and smartphones, and that even includes the Samsung Galaxy Nexus that a lot of you were mad about for not getting KitKat. You can pretty much solve that problem very soon. And obviously that means that we are expecting to get Cyanogen Mod Nightlies and Milestones for other devices very soon. Hopefully they hurry up. Now let's talk about Oppo as the company is working on becoming the first Android OEM to sport the Snapdragon 805 processor that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Links in the description for full details on that. And that's not the hottest news here. We're talking about the company also working on competing with Meizu on bringing us something closer to 4K on displays. We're talking about a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 display. So there is a lot to wait for this phone whenever it happens. It should be the Find 7 and I love that name. But anyway, Stay tuned. And an even more interesting news, even though Samsung has not been famous for bringing us the most compelling Windows phones to the market, it seems that they haven't really dropped the towel when it comes to this platform. Apparently, they're working already on a 1080p smartphone to be launched at probably CES or MWC next year, which pretty much falls in line with the reports that Samsung is going to be launching multiple devices during Q1 of 2014. Obviously, we hope that they also do something to, you know, differentiate this phone when compared to Nokia, so stay tuned for that. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Apple has just launched their iBeacon service to work on Apple stores. And the way this works is obviously you walk into the Apple store, your iPhone detects that you're there through the Apple store application, which it currently can do when you're using Genius Bar services. And once you're there, it'll tell you if there are deals specifically in that store. Aside from the fact that every time you approach a specific product or ask the app any specific questions, it'll tell you everything you need to know from that product, which is great news. Uh, but that leads me to the question of the day. Do you believe that other OEMs should have their own stores just like Apple does? For example, in my particular case, I would love to see HTC stores. I think that that would help them improve the customer's, you know, conscience of their products because currently customers don't really know much about what they do. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Falconow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.